Welcome to your recording. Things are always working out for me. Before we start today's hypnosis, this is a reminder that you should not listen to this recording while driving or operating heavy machinery. In fact, it is best if you are in a safe environment where you could be seated or lying down and be uninterrupted for at least 15 minutes. By the end of this recording, you will notice subtle yet profound changes that will help you to feel more confident in your knowing that things are always working out for you. You should listen to this recording for a minimum of 21 days in a row to receive the optimal benefit. You are welcome to listen to it as many times as you like. The more you listen, the better it gets. Now, let's get started. Take a moment and relax. Bring your awareness down to your toes. Scrunch or tense up your toes and then release, letting all tension go. Bring awareness to your feet. Tense them briefly and then release, allowing all the tension to flow out. Now, bring your awareness to your left leg and then to your right leg. Consciously tense them and relax. Your breathing is becoming slower and easier and deeper. Bring your awareness now to your abdomen. Do a mini crunch and then allow the muscles to wonderfully release and relax. Bring your awareness to your back and scrunch it up by bringing your shoulder blades back. Release, allowing every last bit of tension to exit the body. Now, bring your awareness to your hands and make them into very tight fists. And release. The muscles are turning loose, letting loose, and everything goes deeper. Bring your awareness to your arms and do a bicep curl. And release. Your muscles continue to become loose and free and your breathing gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Bring your awareness to your neck. Scrunch it by bringing your chin all the way down to your chest and then tilt your head all the way backwards. Tilt your head to the left so your ear goes to your shoulder and then to the right. Allow every ounce of tension in your neck to leave your body. Scrunch up the muscles of your face by making a scowl and then release, letting all those facial muscles feeling very free. You are continuing to become more and more relaxed. Your body thanks you for doing this. Now, Allow your eyes to raise up, up, way up so that you feel a slight strain in them. Imagine that you are looking into your own eyebrows or into the forehead. Take a deep breath in and out. Keeping your eyeballs glued up, breathe in and out. Keeping your gaze up as far as your eyes will allow, breathe in. And as you breathe out, close your eyelids down all the way down and keep your eyelids closed. Imagine now that you're in a movie theater looking up at the screen. The screen is the inside of your eyelids. Much like an old film reel, you soon will see the number three flash on the screen three times, then the number two flash on the screen three times, and then the number one flash on the screen three times. So look up at the movie screen on the back of your eyelids and you see the number three flashing. As you see the number three, your body relaxes 10 times more deeply than before. Now the number two comes up on the movie screen and it also flashes three times in a row. Your body and mind are now 10 times more relaxed than before. Then 
the number one flashes on the screen three times and you feel every nerve, every muscle let loose and you go deeper. Your mind and body go 100 times deeper than before. This feeling of relaxation is a gift that you are giving to yourself and you are doing a most remarkable job. Every nerve and every muscle is loose and free and every cell in your body is feeling healthy and happy. Today is the day you come to understand and internalize the word surrender. For so many people around us, the word surrender brings up ideas of giving up. People think about surrendering as something that's done in a war when one side is looking to concede. But this is only one use of the word. Spiritual surrender is the ability to let go and let God. If you are not religious, you may replace God with any other term that works for you, including universe or source. Surrendering in a spiritual sense is to hand over the reins to a higher power. When we surrender, we are putting full faith and trust into the higher power with the knowing that the answers will make themselves apparent. Building this trust is the key. When you hand your problems over to the universe or God or source, you are trusting that the answers will come. In much the same way a drunk driver might hand over their keys to a sober driver, surrendering is a way of providing us with peace of mind. Take a moment to consider one problem or issue or difficulty that you've recently faced where you have struggled to find a resolution. You don't have to consciously sort out your problems like a TV screen that's warming up. This issue comes into your mind right now. You can see it clearly. You can see this issue as clear as day. Watch the issue occurring as though it's on a TV or movie screen. You do not have to relive it yourself. Watch it as an observer. Now, which elements of this issue are difficult to resolve? What part of this issue have you not been able to fix on your own? Identify it and see it clearly. Make a video of this element. Make a video of the part of this problem that's been difficult to resolve. See it on the TV or movie screen. Once you've identified it and seen it, imagine that you're taking this video and burning it onto a DVD or putting it onto a thumb drive. Once the video is on this disc, see yourself taking the disc or the thumb drive and handing it upwards toward the sky. Allow it to flow out of your hands and up into the heavens. Trust that the issue will be resolved or that the right answers will come for you. The answers may come to you in a dream or in meditation or they might simply resolve themselves in real life. You can utilize this technique at any time to consciously and deliberately surrender a problem to a higher power. As you practice this technique more and more, you will see answers coming to you more and more, oftentimes in unexpected ways. When these answers arise, it will feel surprising. It may even feel like a miracle has occurred. Give Thanks when answers come and problems resolve. You know that things are always working out for you. Much like a magnet that always seems to attract only good luck, 
things are always working out for you. Take this moment and see yourself as a large, powerful, incredibly powerful magnet. You are a luck magnet. You attract good people, good situations, good news, and good conditions into your life every single day. Experience your magnetic qualities. You draw beneficial conditions into your life with absolute ease. Just as a magnet does not need to work hard to be attracted to a refrigerator, you do not need to work hard to attract beneficial conditions into your life because the truth is that things are always working out for you. You find ways to remind yourself constantly that things are always working out for you. It's the sensation of being cared for by a greater, higher source. You write the words, things are always working out for me on post-it notes. You see yourself placing those post-its on your bedside table, on your refrigerator, on the side of the television, on your car's dashboard, on the mirror in your bathroom. Any place where you go frequently, you put a post-it to continually remind yourself of this fact. It is a fact. Things are always consistently, constantly working out for you. You are being guided every step of the way. The guidance can feel like a gentle push or a word in your ear. It could be a person who has exactly the information or connection that you require. It could be being at just the right place at just the right time. This guidance is to be respected and cherished. With each recognition of guidance, say thank you. These beneficial circumstances did not come to you by accident. You attracted them by being a magnificent powerful magnet of good luck. But it isn't really luck at all, but a series of fortunate encounters and moments that have been drawn to you. You know what you want to attract and you attract it. That is the very quality of a magnet. The magnet is you. Things are always working out for you. The more that you listen to this recording, the more you know yourself to be a powerful, guided magnet that attracts fortunate circumstances to you. You know it, feel it, understand it, and most importantly, you feel it down to your core. With each listen, this becomes your reality. You notice great things being drawn to you. Every day you notice that more and more great things are being drawn to you. How does it feel to know deep down that you are a person who has an unlimited supply of luck? How does it feel to you to understand, comprehend, internalize this as fact. It feels so very, very good. It feels like you are being watched over and cared for by a benevolent, powerful force, and that feeling is so beautiful. It's a great joy to have unexpected, beneficial events happen to you. The more that the absolutely correct fact that things are always working out for you becomes a part of your core self, the more these beneficial events pop up into your life. One after another, after another, after another. And with each one, you recognize the blessing and give a moment of gratitude for it. 
connecting with the feeling of gratitude or appreciation helps even better things come your way. Just like opening a dam allows a rush of water to flow downstream, opening the dam of gratitude allows more blessings to flow directly to you. You are awash in blessings. Since you are accepting this help and this guidance with ease, with the intense knowing that things are always working out for you, the river of beneficial circumstances never stops. The only way it stops is by closing the dam again by thinking that things don't work out. This is never a need. There is never ever a need to close the dam. Good things are always happening to you. Things are always working out for you. These are your mantras. These are your beliefs, and they will become ever stronger and more resilient within you each and every time you listen to this recording. Now, following my voice, we are slowly returning to present awareness. When your eyes open, you will be feeling incredible, feeling wonderful, feeling supremely relaxed. On the count of one, you start wiggling your toes and fingers a little bit. On the count of two, you are aware of the room that you're in right now. You're slowly returning. On the counts of three and four, you can hear sounds around you. And on the count of five, open your eyes, feeling absolutely remarkable, feeling fresh, feeling relaxed, feeling brand new. And as you continue through your day or evening, know that you are loved, you are strong, and you are powerful.